Welcome to the spoken tutorial on exception and error handling in Perl. In this tutorial, we will learn to catch errors and handle exceptions. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2 and the gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of Perl programming. If not, then go through the relevant Perl spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. When an error occurs, exception handling deviates the execution of a program from the normal execution path. Error handling helps to recover the program without terminating the application. We can identify and trap an error in a number of ways. We will see few commonly used methods in Perl. The warn function only raises a warning message without taking further action. The die function immediately terminates the execution and displays the error message. Let us understand the die function using a sample program which I have already saved. Go to the terminal and type gedit die.pl ampersand and press enter. This is the code in die.pl file. Let us understand the code now. Here we have defined a function divide which takes two input parameters that is dollar numerator and dollar denominator. At the rate underscore is a special variable used to pass the parameter list to the function. If the denominator is zero the die function will quit the script. It will also display the error message for the user to read. Else, it will print the output. These are the function call statements. The first two times the function is executed because the second parameter is not zero. The third time the denominator value is zero. So, the die function is executed. The last divide function will not be executed as a die function quits the script. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl die.pl and press enter. The output is displayed as shown here. Can't divide by zero. This is the error message we have given in the program in the die statement. Next, we will see how to use eval function in error handling. Eval function is used for handling runtime errors or exceptions. For example, built-in errors such as out of memory, divide by zero or user defined errors. The general syntax for eval function is shown here. The dollar exclamation special variable holds the error message if any. Otherwise, dollar exclamation holds an empty string. That means it is evaluated as false. Let us understand the eval function using a sample program. Go to the terminal. Type gedit eval.pl ampersand and press enter. In the eval.pl file, type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let me explain the code now. Here, in our example, open file invokes a die statement if it has trouble in opening a file test.dat. Perl gives the system error message from the last eval block to the variable dollar exclamation. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Switch back to the terminal and type perl eval.pl and press enter. The system error message is displayed as shown here. Let us see another example. This time we will see an error message return from eval function using dollar at the rate. Let us switch back to the eval.pl file. Type the code as shown on the screen. We are passing dollar total comma dollar count as input parameters to the function average. We have a possibility of getting an error if the count is zero. Here, 
that is handled with the die statement. The error message returned from eval is displayed using dollar at the rate. If not, it will print the average value. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl eval.pl and press enter. The output is as shown here. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to catch errors and handle exceptions. As an assignment, do the following. On your Linux machine, create a file emp.txt with 5 employee names. Change permission of emp.txt to read only. Note, go through the relevant Linux spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website for change permission option. Write a Perl program to open the emp.txt file in write mode and add few employee names to it. Using eval, print appropriate error message if open or write operation fails. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.